This is George Paxinos and I am a cartographer of the brain. We have constructed a new map of the human brain stem and identified a region previously not known to science. Uh, what is uh, intriguing about this region, it is not present in the monkeys we have studied. It's one of the things that uh, uh, makes us unique. This area we just identified uh, is uh, in uh, the junction between the brain and spinal cord and uh, uh, it is recipient of information from the spinal cord probably it uh, relays this information to the cerebellum a part of the brain and um, given its location I would uh, suspect it will have something to do with uh, uh, sensory motor uh, coordination uh, and uh, we named it the endorestiform nucleus because uh, it's inside this big um, freeway that connects the brain with the spinal cord. Uh, this observation of this uh, previously unknown region is that uh, it receives uh, input uh, from uh, the spinal cord uh, in cases where a therapeutic anterolateral chordotomy was performed on patients to relieve pain. That is, uh, it is possible to find where these pathways that were severed in uh, these clinical cases, where they go, and one of the places they go is in uh, this region, in this nucleus. It was never identified before as a nucleus. Uh, we now uh, claim that it is a different area from the surrounds and we have given it the name endorestiform nucleus. I, it's not easy to get the brain of a chimpanzee. I had written to the Toronto Park Zoo requesting the opportunity to do a post-mortem on a chimpanzee brain. Once a chimpanzee died, they responded that they would be happy to oblige, but they had not had a death of a chimpanzee in the zoo for a decade. Two months after receiving my letter, three chimpanzees died. Luckily, they didn't suspect me. I studied the brain of one of them, and uh, um, it, it's the areas that we studied in parallel uh, had uh, a very similar structure, that is, they weren't any areas that were different between the human and the chimpanzee and I'm still to study this area that we found in the human not that's not present in the monkeys to see if it is present in the chimpanzee brain I will study that in the um, next few months uh, but um, it is giving us a good uh, first guess of what to expect in the human brain if we study the brain of other primates especially uh, the great apes. Now we have imaging that you do not need to disturb the brain. In fact, the person can be alive and you study the brain. Uh, the resolution is not uh, that good yet, but you have the benefit of uh, the brain being in the skull, in situ, and uh, therefore not distorted by taking it out and sectioning it and dragging it through uh, various solutions. Uh, uh, to stain it. And uh, this uh, confers an advantage in 3D reconstructions when um, you would be able to see structures uh, as they relate to one another uh, and more accurately in the stereotaxic space.